Hello friends, welcome to ANSI's tutor. In this video, we would watch, how could you put a sinusoidal wall temperature boundary condition without using any UDF. To demonstrate the procedure I had taken a sample 2D object. As shown in the image, it's a rectangular object, we would put the temperature boundary condition on the top wall. All other three side walls are kept as an adiabatic wall. The geometry is a rectangular box, with the sides 300 mm in length. Inside the box, it's filled with air. Let's start with the solver setup. Select the double precision option. Click on start. Go to models and turn on the energy equation. Keep the default material properties and flow model. Go to boundary conditions and select the bottom wall. Keep it as no heat flux, as it's an adiabatic wall. Similarly, put adiabatic wall conditions on the side walls. Select the top wall boundary and in the temperature box click on the drop down arrow. You would find an expression option over here. Click on it. Now you can see an FX icon near the temperature box, click on it. An expression editor box will open. Here we need to enter the sinusoidal temperature function in this box. Write down the temperature function with proper units of each term, otherwise, it would cause an error in the function. Here pi is one of the defaults constant in the expression editor, apart from this there are much other default constant are there. For more information regarding this, you can search in the help section of the software. Now the boundary condition input is complete. Now, let's run the simulation and see if our input boundary condition is working or not. The solution got converged at 25 iterations. Save the project and close the Fluent Solver. Open the CFD post window. Insert a new contour to observe the temperature distribution along the heated wall. Now insert a line on the top wall.
insert a new chart. Go to the data series tab, select line 1 as the location. Switch to the x-axis tab. Select the x as the variable of the x-axis. In the y-axis select the temperature as the parameter. Then click on apply. Now we can see the temperature profile is as per our input function. As we have taken only half of the sine function as input, the profile is like this. If you want the full sine function you can change it in the input expression. Let's see how. Open the solver setup. Open the expression editor. Make half of the length. Then click on OK. Run the simulation. Open the CFD post and see the change. One half is having the maximum temperature and the other half is the minimum. Check the chart to get a clear view of the wall temperature. It can now be seen that the temperature variation along the wall is sinusoidal. With this let's conclude the demonstration. Hope this tutorial would help you. Please like this video if you find it helpful. Comment below if have any doubt. Please subscribe to our channel for more tutorial videos. Thank you. Stay healthy, stay safe.